Hey there, I'm Dr. Ron Wilson. At Wilson Orthodontics, we've helped people just like you get that perfect, healthy smile they've always dreamed of. Our talented team is the best around, and they treat all our patients like they're part of the family. Children and adults love our exciting game room. Ride in style in our H2 Hummer Brace Bus. Surf the web in our state-of-the-art internet cafe. And now, we have our very own charity spa. Call us today to schedule your free consultation, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. With this Access News Break, I'm Derek Booth. Republican candidate Doug Collins accepted Democratic challenger Jody Cooley's concession about two hours after the polls closed Tuesday. Collins won with about 76% of the vote across the district. Collins acknowledged that Cooley ran a good race and said that the distinctions between the candidates, though, was clear. After Tuesday's vote, the state of Georgia will now be able to approve charter schools and set up a commission to consider charter applications. Opponents of the amendment, including the state school superintendent, had argued that more charter schools will mean even less funding from the state for traditional public schools. The parents of a toddler hospitalized after being struck by a falling tree branch say he's making progress in his recovery and doctors now expect him to survive. Stacy Halstead says doctors told her this week that two-year-old Trip Halstead is on this side of survival. The family is from Winder. And pawn shop owners in the Gainesville area are one step closer to having to maintain electronic records of their merchandise and those who sell to them. The Gainesville City Council Tuesday night gave first reading approval to a new ordinance that requires pawn shops to maintain such databases. Police say it will make it easier and quicker for them to track stolen merchandise. With this Access News Break, I'm Derek Booth.